If you've been keeping up with the recent Helldiver 2 news, then you've seen that the Helldiver community is proving to be quite the challenge for the developers, as I don't think they anticipated us to be as good as we have proven ourselves to be. There has been some recent news released regarding the current major order that has been completed, gun stats, what the current meta weapons are, and the reveal of the mysterious Game Master known only as Joel. But if you haven't already, please smash that like button and subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. Without further ado, let's get into this. So if you were paying attention, obviously we completed our last major order and the new major order was quick to come out. And the new major order stated as such, Terminators are swarming super earth planets. Countless hell divers paid for these lands with their lives. We cannot lose them now. And the uh, order overview was designated planets must be under super earth control when the order expires. Now the developers gave us uh, quite a long time. I think it was five or six days to complete this major order. What they were not anticipating is that we actually, the community itself, the Helldiver community, player base, completed this order. I'm not exactly sure on the exact time, but it was well with, uh, I think it was under 10 hours that the actual uh, order was completed. If you really sit there and just think about that, it's actually quite incredible how fast the uh, Helldivers 2 gaming community actually completed this major order. Got out there, dished out justice, and knocked it out of the way as quickly as they did. I think that's going to make the developers of Helldivers 2 kind of go back to the, uh, the drawing board and rethink just how difficult they need to make these uh, next major orders that'll be coming out. As it stands right now though, because we have completed this major order as fast as we did, uh, pretty much all there is left to do now is just defend, 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 and get in there and just stop the overall push of the enemy. We can't do anything right now, there's not gonna be any more major orders, but hey, you got 45 medals for it. That should go a long way in helping you unlock new weaponry, armor, and anything else that you might have been waiting for. So next on the list is gonna be the gun stats and currently what is the current meta? What is the meta that everybody is using in this game? And that has brought up a bit of concern from the player base saying that there's really only a few weapons that you can use in Helldivers 2 that really make any kind of a difference. One of them mainly being the breaker shotgun. So next on the list is gonna be the gun stats and currently what is the current meta? What is the meta that everybody is using in this game? And that has brought up a bit of concern from the player base saying that there's really only a few weapons that you can use in Helldivers 2 that really make any kind of a difference. One of them mainly being the breaker shotgun. And the CEO has responded with a post on X stating, in regards to Helldivers 2 weapon stats, so many of you use the four stats we show as a comparison, while each gun has maybe 50 stats in total. The numbers are a guideline, but does not paint a complete picture. Use the one you like most. Honestly, I gotta say, I think he hit the nail right on the head there. Um, let's be, I, I'll be the first to admit that I use the Breaker Shotgun. Uh, I think it's freaking awesome. It dishes out a whole lot of damage. However, I've used other weapons when I'm playing with my friends or solo, and I, I mean, they do good damage. Are they gonna do as much against a, a swarm of, let's just, let's make it really simple and say like 12 enemies. If you have a Breaker Shotgun, that's gonna be knocking them down and freaking shredding them to pieces in one magazine versus maybe it takes two magazines with the submachine gun. Yeah, that's that's the, the truth of it, but it's still a good weapon. The beautiful thing about Helldivers 2 is exactly as the CEO said, just use the one you like. Hey, what, what do you enjoy? Do you enjoy shotguns? Then use it. I honestly never liked shotguns in video games and I found this one and it, it's awesome. And obviously, yes, technically I'm using the Mato weapon now, um, did I know it was the meta weapon at the time that I started using it? No, but it's a freaking bitchin' weapon and I use it a lot. But you know, ultimately again, it comes down to the community and what they feel is the meta of weapons that need to be used. But it's gotten so crazy and, and ridiculous, if you will, in that if players are going into the game and joining other Helldivers and they are not using the meta weapons, they are saying that they are getting kicked from the games because simply they're using the, the tier one weapon that they first start out with and they're not using these so-and-so made of weapons. But it seems as though the uh, developers are responding with this and bringing out a balance patch that will be focusing on the underperforming quote unquote guns and stratagems. So ultimately you shouldn't get too hemmed up on this ladies and gentlemen. There are 50 stats that these guns have. Each gun has 50 stats and we are only seeing four of them. The basic damage, range, rate of fire, you know, the 
50 stats. We aren't seeing 46 other stats. Why are we not seeing the 46 other stats for each weapon? I couldn't tell you. If you happen to know, comment down below. Let, let the uh, community know so we can figure that out. However, could you imagine that every gun you wanted to use, oh, I want to use the submachine gun, or I want to use the freaking shotgun or the sniper rifle, and you had to compare 50 stats with each of them, it could get a little crazy. And so they're trying to probably reduce that, especially when it comes to just the gamer that wants to get in here isn't too concerned about the stats they just want to have fun get in there ultimately it's like the developer said just use the gun that works best for you that you enjoy there are at least three different configurations of guns and stratagems that i use depending on the situation that we're going in i don't always use the same gun and the same stratagems time and time again uh, i know there are some out there that might do that but just have fun with the game they're going to make the changes that's coming out uh, don't get too hemmed up on this the next exciting thing that's been revealed, and it was actually revealed a few days ago, is the fact that the developers have announced that they actually have an actual person with the title of Game Master. A single Helldivers 2 dev named Joel is pulling the strings on its galactic war like an all-powerful D&D Dungeon Master war will become more and more sophisticated over time. In a post on X, the CEO, the developer, kind of followed up on what is the Game Master and what are his duties. And he stated, as a follow-up on the Game Master abilities, the majority of the role is to choose which major order takes place, what daily is active, and decide where the enemies attack. The war fought and liberation of planets, that is all you, as in us, the gaming community. We can also reinforce planets if needed and give temporary equipment to the entire community and other stuff we haven't yet revealed. Followed by a little heart, how cute, thank you. That's pretty crazy if you think about it. So you aren't just going in here and playing and it's a random generation of automatons and terminids that are coming after you. You are actually, there's a game master in the background and he is deciding certain things to either help and or hurt the player base as they go through, much as a DD and d dungeon master would. So what does it mean ultimately? It means that Joel has the ability to change the course of the war at the snap of a finger, much as a D&D master would, as I stated. He could provide you with stratagems that are only available during these missions, ones that might be locked to you because you haven't unlocked them, And but if you play this specific mission, you will be able to use these stratagems. He can make it so that when you are on the brink of victory, for a planet, he can provide extra reinforcements for the enemy, giving you that little bit of extra challenge that you need that you might overcome and or fail at doing so in there. Now the war is pushing on. It could also mean that you are fighting the Terminids and or Automatons on one side of the galaxy and then all of a sudden you are interrupted by another invasion on the opposite end of the galaxy that you now have to either go focus on and or split your groups up. That is the exciting part. This game master can do anything he wants. He's not gonna absolutely destroy us and make it so that we lose the super earth, but he can tweak the events that are happening in the game at the snap of the finger. And that's what's exciting about this is you're never gonna, it's, it won't ever just be the same. Oh, I'm gonna go to the same planet, do the same defend missions. It's not gonna have an effect. Oh, okay, we took this one, now go to the next planet. He can, in the snap of a finger, change the course of the war and that will keep the player base on their feet and quite frankly they're going to have to do so because as i said at the beginning of the video the helldiver gaming community has proven to be much more difficult for these guys than i think they anticipated so this game master is going to have his hands full and quite frankly i look forward to it so look, ultimately you just gotta enjoy the game. Get out there, use the weapons that you wanna use. They're all just as good you can get around them. Just because you're not having the made a weapon, quite frankly the breaker, yes, does it make it easier to handle swarms of enemies? Sure does, does it dish out a lot of damage? Yes it does, but doesn't mean you can't do that with the submachine gun. You might have to play a little differently, change up your strategy, but you're still gonna be able to achieve it. They wouldn't release these weapons if they couldn't be, if you couldn't achieve uh, completing the missions with these less than made of weapons. You can still do it. Have fun with it, use the weapons you want, and fear not, the, the changes are coming. They've already addressed the server issues. This is, again, one of the developers that actually wants to make this game incredible, as they did not in expect and anticipate the sheer amount of players that would be purchasing this game and uh, playing it. They are just as excited as we are. The changes are coming, but in the meantime, just have fun, enjoy the game. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this little update for everybody. If you've enjoyed it, comment down below, let me know what you guys thought and what would you like to see in future patches coming out. 
Likewise, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more on this video game and more updated news coming out. I'm going to get back at it. Until then, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?